good amount of RAM on it. Uh, the, the, the reason why I'm trying, well, I think uh, I, I would think that, um, you know, I'm trying to see where people are. Right? I'm sure someone's on this thing, but someone's shooting. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a person over here. That's a person. Hey, you're going to land. Stop moving around. I'm going to show So, let me make another video, guys. As I was saying before, I'm playing Fortnite on the Samsung. Uh, it's a Galaxy Z Fold 4. Uh, this phone does have 12 gigs of RAM on it. Um, why is this important? I think it's important for games. Uh, I think it's also the other thing important about that is try and make sure that your phone, your Android phone, is up to date, as in um, it's running like at least uh, a decent uh, Android, um, you know, thingy. I don't know. Most people would still be using the Android 11s, uh, 12s, and all that. But try to make sure that whatever device you buy, if you want to play this game. I mean, play flu fluidly like I'm doing, like fl flawlessly and properly. Your device needs to be a Samsung phone. Uh, first, first and foremost, uh, I know you're gonna be ranting and complaining about it and saying, "Well, you don't like Samsung." Uh, I don't know what to say about that. If, if you don't like a Samsung phone, then you don't like Samsung. But I'm just saying that basically, if you want to play Fortnite, and I know you're gonna say, "Well, you can play this on Game Pass. You can play this." Uh, on GeForce now, why do you need a Samsung to play the game? Well, you, you could, you, you can actually, not that you could, but you can. But the thing is, think of it this way. Do you want to play this as a sub subscription type of service, or do you want to play this as a, a game that's actually on your device? So, sorry if there's any shaking there. I didn't realize, <laughs> I'm actually pushing um, the you know where the holder is for the for the phone. The phone I'm actually using is an Oppo Reno. Let, let me give you a, 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 a check on it. My Oppo Reno is running on the latest Android system, which is Android 12. It has eight gigs of RAM on it. Uh, it has something called um, a RAM expansion. I don't know what that is. It can actually have more RAM on the phone, right? But it is an eight gig uh, gigabyte uh, RAM uh, Android phone. So it's running the latest Android, Android 13. I know this Android 14. It's been Android 14 has been released to all the Pixel phones, yes, because Pixel always gets the la latest Android. But I'm just saying. Uh, so that's that's out of the way, yes. Right. So are we one? Good, my friend. So basically, what I'm saying is, think of it this way: um, if you buy a phone that's running a slower Android, yeah, and for, for whatever reason, you decide that you, you don't want to listen to me. You say, okay, you know what? I'm going to buy any Android phone I want and try and play Android. So, uh, play Fortnite. So, basically, let's, let's just say, for whatever reason, uh, you decide to do that. Yes? Then, let's, let's just say that you, you then also discover that there's GeForce Now and Game Pass that are providing this game. The difference is you have to pay Game Pass ten pounds, sorry, ten dollars every month just for the simple Game Pass. If you're gonna go for Ultimate, which allows you to play like games like Battlefield 2042, Starfield that's come up and coming, Day Free, all these new games, you need to pay the additional. I think it's like uh, fourteen dollars from ten dollars because the basic one only allows you to play to play certain games that are free to play on the Game Pass. But for the ultimate version, which gives you access to all games, every game that's new, like I said, Starfield is coming, Lies of Key is coming, Payday hey 3, uh, what else? Uh, I, there's, a, there's a ton of games that are coming to Game Pass this month, and they're all the latest games. Starfield is just one of the games that I can say is the biggest game, and for the fact that you don't even have to buy the game, you can just play it on Game Pass, for fourteen dollars is a good deal because the game itself costs sixty dollars. So if you don't have sixty dollars to buy it on Steam, and you can just pay forty dollars a month and play and play the full game with all the DLC, and you're probably playing this game on uh, RTX uh, thirty eight, you know something very powerful. So the graphics look fantastic. And you can play this on the Steam Deck. You can play this on your iPhone. You can anything that supports Game Pass. I, I like I'm not kind of phones. But 
I'm just saying, what if you don't have that $14? What if you don't have that $10? You simply don't have money, extra money, to pay for a Game Pass 3 or for GeForce Now. You just want to play this game, and you want to play this game uh, without the subscription. Uh, you don't have cash. Uh, I mean, it, it could be any reason. You, you simply, last month you paid for it, but this month you don't have that money. Then what to do? So I'm giving you a different option. Why not buy a Samsung phone? It's any Samsung phone, but make sure it's a good one. When I say good, make sure that you can update it. Uh, don't buy, do not buy Android phone you can't update. Why? Because once they stop updating them, that's like killing the phone, just like what iPhone does with its phones. Do not, um, do not buy stuff that uh, you can't update. It's just, it's not a good thing. So basically, what, I, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, try to buy an Android phone, which, which is within your budget, but make sure you can update it half a meter. Uh, usually, you can you can use websites like GSM Arena. Just type in the phone that you're looking for, the phone you want to buy, and it will normally tell you that that phone is been updated. The other way you can do it is just do a Google search on the phone. Just type in the name of the phone you want to buy, and uh, type in the, the Android system you want to find. Like, I don't know what phone you're buying, like Sony, whatever you buy, it's free or whatever, B something. And then just type in Android 14, and it will normally it should tell you if that phone is capable of being updated. And if it's not, do not buy it. I know it's going to be quite a nice phone. Yeah, it can be nice, but if you can't update it, there's no point in buying it because it, that's how. Android kills off, uh, or you know, it could be a good, really good phone with very good uh, specs on it. But if they're not updating it, I wouldn't suggest to buy it. I'm just saying, if you still want to buy it, go ahead, do it. It's your money. But I, I would, if someone asked me, hey, 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 hey bro, there's, there's this uh, phone that I really want to buy, but they don't support it anymore, what should I do? I'll be like, I'll be like, what, what do you want to do with it first? I mean, what's the what, what's the main reason for you buying the phone? I mean, in the cocaine, what's going to do? If a person says, well, I just want to, you know, I just want to own the phone, you know, something I really want. I would ask them, okay, how much are they selling it for, first? Secondly, if you can't update it, what does it actually go up to? What's, what's like the maximum that it goes up to? What's, what's the Android level, you know? Is it an Android 12 level? Is it an Android 13 level? You know, at least Android 12 would be all right, but if it's not, uh, what's the level that it goes up to? You understand? And if the person didn't understand me, like, properly, like, why is that important? Because there are certain apps, like, I, I, wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say like YouTube, but I, but I feel like this does affect that, that actually. Oh, wait, there's a Oh, my God, it's gone. Oh, damn. <laughs> I just see them from afar. I was like, this guy is riding. I was like, mm, looking at him, looking at him, and then I realized, yeah, that's an enemy. Yeah, the, he is. And look, the, the, where did he go? Can you go underneath here? Yeah, no, you can't. Okay. All right, so basically, I'll ask them what they want to do with the device. Uh, and, you know, I think, oh, wait, yes. <laughs> I was even at me, and I still got <laughs> I wasn't aiming, so I didn't press on this one. I just started shooting. <laughs> oh my god, look. Ah, damn. <laughs> they know me. Uh, but it's another player, basically. So, basically, what I'm saying, guys, is I would ask them first, how much does it cost? Second question would be, what Android level does it go to? Like, how, how much can you update it to? That's the level, basically. Level 12, like an Android 12 would be alright, but anything under 12, I wouldn't suggest buying it. But it also costs, you know, how much does it cost? $100, $90, $50, what? If it's like, you know, $100, and it's under 12, yeah, it's fine, you can buy it. I mean, if it's something that you really want. But if the person wants to game on it, I would probably suggest they, they buy it. I mean, they might not like the phone that I would suggest, but I'm just going to say this because I think it's... It's best to be honest with people. You know? Don't, don't. Um, I'm not gonna say don't stop your friends from buying the phone because they want to buy it. But you, you and their good friends, you know, something that they 
kind of big, you know? I'm just, listen, I'm just going to let you know. I'm going to let that person buy it for the kind of date. And then tomorrow, you know what's going to happen the next day? They're going to blame you. Like, I asked you, bro, and, and, and I asked you if it was a good phone, and you said yes. And even though you can't tell them yes, they just look for anyone to blame, and, and they'll be blaming you, you know? Like, you're the one who told them, and you'd be like, no, bro, I, I did not tell you to buy that particular phone. I told you to buy something you could update, and the person simply didn't want to listen to. What direction am I supposed to be blaming? I'm just looking at this thing. Uh, if you're wondering, how am I controlling this game? I'm controlling it all from the DualSense controller. This is a PlayStation 5 controller. How am I doing it? I'm using um, a, the... I'm actually using my my cable for my Oppo Reno. I've got an Oppo Reno 8 Pro 5G phone. And I'm actually using... I'm actually using the, um, the cable. The, uh, the Type-C cable. It's an 80 watt uh, adapter cable. I think if you notice it, look how thick that is. So that's directly from the phone. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just testing the DualSense controller uh, connected to my uh, Samsung Galaxy C Fold 4, not the 5, uh, not the 5 yet. Uh, but like I said, um, you know. So I'm just testing this game. It's working, it works, everything works. I'm also using the OTG cable, which is actually the adapter, which is just a Type-C adapter to a USB. Uh, uh, it can be a different or a different or it doesn't have to be a special someone shooting me. I can't see. I know where he's shooting from, but I just need to get out of here. If he's shooting me, so I, I don't want to get shot. I think he's over there someplace. Yeah, I think, oh my god. <laughs> at least at least I got into some some, uh, some of my teammates. Okay, um so so basically What's, what's the whole point of the video? Uh, the whole point of the video was for me to, to, to chat to see if I could use the DualSense controller to play Fortnite all just using the gamepad connected to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold uh, to play Fortnite. I also tried to say the reasons why I, I think it's a bad idea to buy an older phone Especially for this, especially when I play a game like this. I'm not trying to give advice to people that I don't buy old phones, because I've probably done that in the past. When I really needed a phone, I just bought one. But I'm just simply saying that if if you can think about it for a second, you know, it, it might sound like a good idea to buy an old phone, but if you can't update the phone, it's it's really just gonna be a negative. You know what I mean? Um, I, I'm just saying, look, listen, I, I'm not, at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not going to really uh, give you anything that somebody else could probably not have given you, you understand, like information or advice and points, but I'm just saying that on a personal note, from the way I feel, I, I don't think it's, it's wise to buy something that you can't update. It's just my personal opinion. I mean, you don't have to agree with me. Uh, you don't have to say yes, to, you know, yes, bro, you know, we understand what you're saying, blah, 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 blah. I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, push you in a direction of buying something you don't want to buy. But what I'm saying is, it's just good advice. Do not buy all the, all the Android phones that you cannot update. I don't know where this dude is. He's just shooting me. Oh my god, hey, you can't see him. Is he coming? Okay, yeah, there he is. Ah, damn. <laughs> he was aiming at me. I thought he was just going to jump and then I could aim. You see, I should have just started shooting. I, I wanted to aim. That's why I got me killed. Okay, basically what I'm saying is, I think it's better, it's better to advise your friends to always buy something they can actually update. And the main reason for that is, is just basically... I think that's the guy who shot me, so I want to get him. Where is he? Oh, come on, man. He, he is. Ah, oh, maybe he's dead. Oh! Did this person get them? So basically, what I'm saying is, I think if you, if you are a good friend, you're going to tell your friend to do the proper thing. Um, with Android especially, go, don't buy phones you can't update. Where you can do this. Come on, can I get him? Ah, damn it! 
I'm just saying, if you want to be a good friend, yeah? If you don't like the person, you probably tell them to buy whatever they want to buy. But personally, I feel like if, if you are good friends with the person, you are going to try your best to give them the best advice. I, I, I'll give an example of myself. When I didn't have a phone, I bought cheap, very cheap Android phones. Uh, these phones were dead cheap, like $20 or $50. Nothing, nothing you could complain about. They were very, very cheap. But the one problem that I, I started to face with them, and this, I don't know if this is a me thing, maybe it's just, it just affected me. Uh, basically, I need this thing, I want the shield thing. So basically, what I'm saying is, the one part that started to affect me was when I wanted to watch stuff like YouTube, and I noticed YouTube wouldn't even work on these phones. And I was like, I was like, I got two phones that I paid $50 for. You know, I had this, I don't know, Acatel thing. And it, it was on Android 12, but this thing they call L or whatever. You couldn't even update it. I couldn't update the phone, one. Two, you couldn't even watch YouTube on the thing. You know, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's just crazy thing. Oh, that's one of my, where are these people at? Where's everyone? Where's, where are people? I thought I was going up to find somebody. No one's there. I don't think I need a sniper anymore. Let me just, I'll get this thing for health. And then I'll just look for someone to shoot. We're actually, it's actually tied 35 uh, versus 36. I mean, in terms of points. Oh, you know what? I'd actually drop a sniper only to find out that the people are down there. So let me grab that sniper back. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I, I've just seen them. They're there, you see? They're right there. So I dropped the sniper away from so Yes, look, I got him. He was running up to me. I got him. <laughs> So basically, uh, what I'm saying to you guys is um, you guys should make up your mind on what you want to buy. Um, but my honest opinion is if you can't even watch YouTube on a phone, seriously, don't buy. Oh my god, look at this person. You just watch it. I'm getting shot. Who's shooting me? Oh, this is pointless. Maybe, you know what, I'm going to go up here. Oh, uh, no, I don't have that time. Yeah, the circle's already turned. Oh, my God, I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot. It's always me. They got me. They got me. Oh, my God. So, what I'm saying is, if, if you get a phone, a cheap phone, and you can't even watch YouTube, trust me. Uh, I, I had two phones. Uh, you know, this was at a time when I, when I was broke. And I just wanted a phone. I didn't even, I didn't care what kind of phone it was. I just wanted a phone for YouTube. And YouTube wouldn't even work, wouldn't function. Someone went in here. Where's this guy going? Oh, I can see his footsteps. You're going wrong. Why are you going wrong, bro? Ah, oh my God. You got me again. So basically, what I'm saying is, I paid two phones, $50 each. And I couldn't even watch YouTube on them. Not only could I not watch YouTube on them, I couldn't update them. I don't know this person. They're trying to hit me with a gun. <laughs> I'm like, I've got a gun. Don't bring her back to a gunfight. <laughs> I don't know which one to to. Oh my god. So basically, what I'm saying is, I, I bought these cheap phones. I couldn't even watch YouTube on them. I couldn't update them. So then I went out again. After that's a hundred dollars because I bought two phones, and then I tried to hold it to. I tried to hold it to. I think I really got the right. Oh wait, the bullets it. I did not see these bullets before. Thank you very much. So basically, I couldn't watch YouTube on those phones. I just li listen. Two phones, fifty dollars, hundred dollars down the bin. That's how I saw it. Didn't even have phones, couldn't watch YouTube. So the whole point of buying a cheap phone just went out the door. Because I was like, so what's the point now? I can't even watch YouTube. Can't update these old phones. They only bought them because they were cheap. The person I bought them from, imagine this. The person I bought them from actually told me not to buy the phone. He was like, don't buy this thing. And I was like, why? He said, because you can't update this thing. I was like, ah, it's cool, man. And you know the only reason he knew why I was buying it, because it was cheap. He was like, don't buy this thing. Oh my god, please go up. Oh. I can't 
can't get up. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, it, it's it's on the pyramid. You see, the whole life now is on the pyramid. So obviously, you need to get on. See, it's all going to the pyramid. I mean, to the top of the pyramid. Is this the top? No, that's the top of the pyramid. I don't know where this is. Man. Where are we? You know, I've got a sniper. I'm a sniper some people now. Right, so basically, um, I, I spent $100 on phones that I couldn't even update. I could not even use for YouTube. Right, so I was, I was not in a, in a happy place, basically. Where are these people? Uh, someone's shooting from that side. You see? This is a good thing about I'm going to sniper in the game. I <laughs> got him. Right. Um, so basically, I, I wasted $100, couldn't update uh, the phones, couldn't uh, watch YouTube either. And I realized that I just spent $100 money gone. Right. I wasn't happy, like I said. So I went out. I, I didn't do enough research about the Android versions, you know. Because like I said, I was an iPhone user, but I needed the Android phone at the time. I don't know what I, I wanted it for. Uh, but, right. I didn't, I didn't know. Listen, I didn't know why I needed the, the Android phone for at the time. But I, I needed, I just needed the... And I the phone. I spent, I bought two phones. The person that I, the place where I bought them from, the guy did tell me not to buy them because he said you can't update these. These are basic, what they call basic phone. It's no longer faster than a smartphone. Once you can't update it, you can't um, uh, use it on the internet. Even though it's an Android phone, they class it as a basic phone. The guy told me, said, listen, uh, if you want to use these things for future uses, don't buy this. Buy something a bit more, you know. He was trying to, he was trying yes, but he's trying to give me good advice. I chose not to listen to him. Got his two phones, utterly useless, couldn't update them. Uh, the, they, they were stuck on Android something, Android 8 or 7. I think it was Android 7. He couldn't update them further than that. And I couldn't even use them for YouTube. That's how useless his phones were. They couldn't connect to the internet. Nothing. Just utterly useless. Maybe it's a basic phone, yes, but everything else utterly useless. I got bored. I went back out, didn't do my research again, didn't listen to people when people are telling me to buy something or to buy, you know, because I said I want a basic phone, you said buy something, you'll probably be, be okay, but don't buy an old or something. I said, listen, I, I don't want something, I just want something else. Because I've got, I had uh, Xiaomi in the past, you know, they said I pay or then buy something. I had a Xiaomi phone in the past, I had um, a, a Wiley phone in the past, you know. You know, back then there were good phones before they took Android off them. I uh, mean, Play Store, they took the Play Store apps off the Hawaii's, and then uh, it kind of went downhill from there. This is a good one. So they made very good phones in Hawaii. I had the P20 Pro, you know, back in the day, before the P20, P30 was the last phone that ever had Play Store apps and stuff. So when that died off and they removed the Play Store, I kind of lost interest in that phone. And I moved away from Hawaii. I had the Xiaomi phone afterwards. I had, um, I think it was um, Xiaomi 9, uh, 9A or something like that. It was a very nice phone. A beautiful phone, actually. That I, I really liked the phone. Um, previously, from those phones, I had uh, the Apple Pearls and stuff. But you know what happened? I, I had that problem of buying too much stuff and then having to sell stuff, you know, to get money. And then, uh, well, not sell stuff, you know, you, you do those buyback stuff where you go to the shop and you try and get your stuff back and you can't get it back for whatever reason, you don't have money. I give up on the items and you start to go. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to give advice to people to say don't buy too much stuff, especially stuff you're never going to use. I, I like buying these index stuff and these features because if I need to get rid of them, I can. And there's always someone in the market for an order. There's always someone in the market for a Because these are popular devices, you understand? Um, this is an iPhone. I do buy the latest iPhone. I don't buy old stuff. Because no one buys old things these days. It's, it's just, it's one, a waste of money, two, you can use them, and nobody buys old, old things. Unless you got them, if you, if you have the very first iPhone, yes. That's an iconic device that's like the big display, all of that stuff. That's different. That's like a collector's item, isn't it? But I'm talking about modern day phones that are simply no longer supported. And I'm not talking about the iPhone in the first place. But, um, <laughs> you know, I did, I did have uh, SEs. 
I did start off with the S's, I'll show you. I've actually got two of these things. I've got two of these things, I'll show you. That's the S's that I've got. So, I'm not saying that I've never had an old pipe when I've had them. That's the SE. You see? And I've got two of these. I don't know if I can collect the other one because behind my still left. I've had two SE phones in the past. There they are. So, you see? So, I'm not, I'm not like, Beyond buying old things, I do buy old stuff. That's those are the SE. Uh, why did I have the SE phone? Uh, because I needed, I needed uh, phones. I had got two phone lines, and I needed good phones. And at the time, these were still being updated. You see, those are the SE. It's not the uh, iPhone 5. It's got the original SE. I don't know how else to prove it, but these are on 15.7. Uh, iOS, whatever you want to call it. Sorry for the second word. Um, they're on the 15.7, that's where it stopped. These did not get uh, iOS uh, 16. Um, okay, so basically, uh, I don't know how else to, to put this. I don't know how else to say this. Um, when, when I'm talking mostly about devices and everything, I do try to talk from experience as well. Uh, because I don't want people to make the same mistake I made. That's the only thing. I thought those, I thought those were like the blue thingies. And when, when are my ads in here? Uh, I need a different gun, but shotguns don't not have shotguns. What's this place? Is this a petrol place? Like, so guys, what I'm saying, wait, wait, let me, let me put this back to you. Oh my god, this driving is bad. Uh, I mean, my driving is not good. Uh, let's see, can I talk to the back of this? the weapon uh oh man look at these shotguns you know one thing i was going to use the motorbike <laughs> let me actually use this big truck no i mean that is coming in oh come on let's go um, the only thing i'm disappointed in with um, my experiment in today was basically no sound but i mean everything is working and that is what is surprising me the most the driving, the getting into the cars, the reloading of weapons, the swapping of weapons, the flying yeah. aspect of things. Oh, I'm going out of one again. Driving. And all I had to do basically, guys, was basically just connecting the Type-C cable to the gamepad to the phone. And that was basically it. That's all I had to do. So that's, that's why I'm surprised. Check this out. I'm going from one car to the next car, and I'm just driving the... My driving isn't fantastic, it's not good. But I just wish this had sound, man. This would have sounded so fantastic. You know, I mean, just imagine having your friend coming over, right? And then you're like, ah, oh, you know, I'm going to play Fortnite. And you take out your phone. <laughs> you know? And that person's like, what? What device, what device are you going to use for Fortnite? And you're like, device? And you're like, no, bro, I don't need a device. What? What's that? Is that a sniper? Okay, so I see, you know what? I'm gonna have this magic thing in that like shotgun. I don't know why you put this gun to me. I mean, I can understand people just like having it. Let me just get this things. What I'm saying is, don't buy old underpants. It's not good uh, in terms of value for money, and you can't update them. My example is a kind of it's a prime example of why you shouldn't buy an older phone. Um, I don't know. Wait, wait, that's a nice gun. That's a very nice gun. Let's see. Do I have this already? No, I don't. I don't need a gun. So let me grab this gun. Oh, that's the gun that I normally have. You know the one you get? That's the one. That's this one. Oh, check this out. There's a sniper. Right. I'm going to swap this thing. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of those things. Those are just the uh, green things. The sniper weapons are good, man. They got infrared, you know, infrared scanning and stuff. So they're quite good. I'm gonna get in this motor bike. Where are people? Because I should be where people are at. Sorry about that. Oh my God, I'm crashing. Wait, I need to get into this thing. Oh, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Why can't I just drive properly for once? Oh no, no. <laughs> Going into this thing, I don't want to go into there. 
Ah, come on, man. Look at this. I, I swear, I'm, I'm, I'm really pressing hard to turn, and it won't turn. You, you, you know what I mean? It's so irritating. Oh, my God. How am I getting stuck on this thing? Come on, man. Oh, my God. I don't want to walk. It's going to take too long to walk there. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. And then they're in the city or where? Where are these people? Okay, they're on this side. Look how, how far this place is. Imagine if I was running or walking. How long would that have taken me to get here? You see, the bike is just quicker. It's faster than me. So basically, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I don't need it for now. I'm going to jump and fly down. Oh my god. No, I don't need to be foul. Different people again. Uh, I might need that bike. <laughs> I don't know what the bike's going. Uh, let's go to the bike there. Okay, they're down here. Alright, that's not an issue. Uh, come on, let me fly. Yes, let's fly. Yeah, okay. okay, they're on this mountain. Okay, so basically, uh, basically what I was saying is, um, do not spend money buying old things, okay? I spent $1,500 uh, buying two phones that became utterly useless and that was in one day and someone did give me advice I didn't listen to them I grew up a salesman uh, I thought uh, he just wants me to buy something expensive maybe so, maybe not but this advice should have been good because I after spending a hundred dollars on those two phones in one day in my day realizing that I could not is that an enemy? yes, yes realizing that I could not I got two people <laughs> Realizing that I could not update the phone, I just wasted hundred dollars. Couldn't go back to the shop because you can't go back to the shop after the phone. You want to buy something because they they did tell me they said, look, don't buy the stuff. You can't update it. And I just ignored them. Not realizing, I thought I was getting a bargain. <laughs> the money you see, can only go back to the shop if the phone don't work. You understand? So if the phone, for example, was not working, I could have come back and said, look, I want to stop them. Of course, they would have stopped the phone for me. But because there was nothing physically wrong with the phones, and because the phones were working, despite the fact that you can't update them, doesn't mean that automatically you can just scroll and swap out for a different phone. No, they won't, they won't swap them out. So I got three people before I got done that. I think that was good. <laughs> You know, wasn't of course uh, the streak or whatever, but I mean, you're better than just getting done down the first time. That's why I like Fortnite. You always get an opportunity to do something. Why do I keep, I keep going the wrong way? I, I don't get where people are. Okay, they're back here. Wait a second, can I flip it over? Flip, yep, there we go. So basically, what I'm saying is, I wish that I could can go back to the store because the store will only swap the phones if they're physically, sorry, if, if it's not a physical damage, but let's say they're not working for whatever reason, then obviously then you, they would have swapped them. But you can't go back to them and say, oh, I can't update it after they've just told you. They've, they've just told you, oh, come on, dude. <laughs> you, you hit the car and you hit it. Oh, <laughs> that would be so cool if I did get it. I'm not sure if I did. So basically, you can't go back to the shop and say, well, I can't update it. Because they told you you couldn't update it. They, they even told you the, the basic phone. I chose not to listen. I lost $100 just like that, gone. Because the phones were working, so it's just that they told me not to buy it. I didn't listen. Right? So the second mistake I ever made was buying an Acatel phone. I mean, I, I, I did use the phones for a while, the ones that I wasted money on. Uh, you know, if you put a SIM card in them, you could still use it as a basic phone. You just couldn't use it for uh, Facebook, uh, sorry, for YouTube, or um, updating it or connecting to our Facebook. Because, I mean, basically, you couldn't update them anymore. So, as a, as a basic phone, I didn't lose money. And so, that's, that's why I'm saying that in, in that way of using it as a basic form, I didn't lose my cash. You understand? Know the way I lost the money was the basic cash of why I wanted to use them for. So that's how I lost money. That's how I, I consume or the way I look at it. If you look at it from a perspective that I still use them as basic form, then I didn't ever lose money, basically. 
But I, I'm just saying that um, what what annoyed me is not the fact that I think I chose not to listen to the people who gave me brilliant advice and actually advised me to buy something a little bit more expensive in order to get the desired effect that I wanted, which they had said, I said to them, I'll connect to the internet and I want to use it for YouTube. And they said, okay, spend $70 then, spend 20 extra and buy something that will actually allow you to use YouTube. And I refused to listen. So that's why I'm saying I'm, I'm not foreign from mistakes. I do make mistakes myself. I, I then made a bigger mistake buying an Apple phone for $120, one phone. It was on Android 12, but it was this, uh, I don't know what to call it, this 12L thing. And then I noticed, I only realized later, that you could not update it. It's an article. I don't have it here with me. It's, it's well, it's in the kitchen. But what I'm saying is, it does connect to the YouTube. You have to have a YouTube works on this. I did, I tried to the shop. It's a different shop though, yeah? I just saw it. Well, it wasn't 120 I think it was like, what, 70 or something? I think it was not a very expensive brand. Uh, so I I did I spent like let's say about it was roughly about eighty dollars. It's, it's a new phone. It's actually a new phone that uh, if you've ever heard of the shop called Alcos, they do sell the Acatol, the one I'm talking about is Acatol one. So it is a phone that is quite popular with people that do buy cheap phones. So I'm not gonna say it's, it's outdated, yeah, 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 no. I did some research on it, but I just didn't do enough research. So what I'm saying is, uh, the problem is, because I didn't, I, I lacked, you know, used to, I don't know why this happened to me. It happened to me twice. Buying those phones with basic phones, 